Hi everyone, I'm Paige Abbott and this is your weekly recovery message on the topic of your story. We all have our story and what's interesting to me about the story we carry is that we kind of pick and choose within our consciousness and maybe subconsciousness the memories and the events and the stories that define us. So our story, meaning how we talk and think and perceive our life, is actually a kind of censored version of reality. And I would encourage you to really reflect on what is your story and what is driving the narrative. So recognizing that our brains kind of cherry pick which parts of our history we'll remember, which parts of our history define us, what's the overall theme of your narrative? Is it an empowered narrative where you recognize there's been adversity, but throughout there's this theme of hope and strength? Is it a adversarial negative? narrative where there's been lots of strife, turmoil, you feel that it's been nothing but fighting, aggravation, and it's a very frustrating narrative? Or is your narrative more of a victim narrative? All of these events have happened to you and you feel helpless, you feel like you've been dragged along for the ride. Maybe your theme is something different that you can identify. Regardless, it is important to really look at what is defining your narrative because there is the idea out there, there's actually a whole branch of psychotherapy called narrative therapy devoted to this idea that we can change our narrative. So if the current story we're carrying about our lives is picked and chosen amongst certain events that have happened, but others have been forgotten or neglected, then realistically, we can change the narrative. We can consciously go back and repick kind of the stories and the events that define our narrative and that define us. And so you don't have to be trapped in a victim narrative or an adversarial narrative and I hope that you can get to a more realistic if not empowered narrative because I know that many of you watching have had lots of difficult things happen to you and yet here you sit you keep going with the journey of recovery you keep going in life looking after yourselves you're successful you have accomplishments great strengths within self and yet that part of the story does often get downplayed some people find it helpful and therapeutic to write out their narrative so even writing out the current story and narrative that they're carrying and then working on shifting it. So rewriting the narrative into that empowered narrative or that more strengths-based narrative. And there can be a lot of power in getting things out and putting them on paper. Many people reflect to me that when they're writing, things become more real. So this is an opportunity to really solidify that newer narrative, even though in your subconscious world, it will still be a little bit new and the tendency will be to go back to the old narrative. This is something I would encourage you to spend some time thinking about if you do have an individual counselor or if you go to any group process meetings. This might also be something to bring up and just bring it into consciousness. Start talking about it, start thinking about it, and just remember that you don't have to be defined by that story that you've been carrying and there's always the potential for change. I do wish you the best in this as part of your ongoing journey of hope and recovery and health. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.